Desiree, we still await the president here in Ward 3 in Bloemfontein, but we've been, of course, talking to the president as to trying to understand what are they expecting, given that the financially troubled metro has been, of course, limping in terms of uh, service delivery issues. Youth on the ground now has told us that they also want, uh, you know, the job opportunities within the municipality. They still allege that there's so much much nepotism that has been ongoing with the Mangang Metro municipality. But we see now that given the weather, of course, that there's quite a number of people that have already converged here in Ward 3 just to hear what the president brings on the table. Uh, but people are still complaining about job opportunities, site allocations, and they also want, you know, unity. They are saying there should be unity within the party of uh, the ANC. But I just want to bring some of the residents here just to understand from their side as to what have they been complaining about. What is your demand? I have been complaining about the ANC. I have been complaining about the ANC. Catalan <laughs> Pumolo <laughs> Slotum <laughs> One concerned resident here saying that he wants at least to brother uh, uh, plea to the president to address the issue of site allocations. He's saying that he's applied for site allocation in 2015 and also has a documentation that proves that he was in line. But till to date, he still lives in a shack and wants to know wants answers as to what is the procedure because he's saying that from the municipality their complaints have fallen on deaf ears. I just want to bring one more resident just to understand the, your expectation from president's address here in Ward 3 today. Okay, um, my expectation here today from the first citizen of the country which is Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa is to address issues around employment, service delivery and everything else that the, the citizen of this province are expecting from the ruling party. Because now, the ruling party has to uh, listen to the concerns of the residents and then make sure that it delivers uh, the, the services that are needed to the people. Because as, as you can see, there's uh, a whole uh, uh, turmoil uh, around the country uh, involving unemployment, you know, um, issues of housing, finance and everything. So what we are expecting today from the president to address us is a positive feedback on guidelines and objectives and mission as to how they are going to tackle the current issue which is uh, facing our country, our province. So Mr. Ramaphosa should actually give us guidelines as to how he's going to tackle issues of uh, unemployment, housing and service delivery.
Thank you. They have heard it from youth of this world saying that he wants the president to address the issue of unemployment, which is the burning issue amongst the youth of the free state. Just want to bring one more. He's been vocal about the issues of services in Mangaung Metro, Mpomujanaka. I talked to another civic movement earlier on saying that they've written a letter to the president that they will be giving them what are your demands to the president given that you've been active on the ground? Mangawu Metro Municipality is dysfunctional. It has lost credibility. And today the president of the ruling party is here in Bloomfontein to request the volunteers and even a community to vote for the African National Congress. But you need to tell us what are the consequences management for the thieves and the looters we have destroyed the municipality of Mangau, the machinery that's supposed to deliver on the services of the people of this uh, city. Young people are unemployed. Uh, there is there is staggery all over the place, and there is absolutely no accountability. But you've been talking constantly, talking to government. You are still not happy about what is happening. In fact, we are not. And the, the also reason why we are here is that we gave. Uh, the president, our memorandum on the 27th of April uh, in Botabelo this year. And the president promised us to bring in an intervention team to actually investigate on our issues. That intervention team has not been here. But also you must appreciate that certain uh, development have taken place. The metro police has been stopped uh, and uh, everything has been withdrawn. But there are a lot of issues that still need to be addressed. So we'll be engaged in the process because we have seen a particular level of uh, open door policy which was never there before but that does not mean everything now is solved and everything is uh, at its own uh, situation where we want it but we need the president to come and explain the people who are destroying the ANC the people are destroying this municipality what is he doing he is late as we are speaking now because now he's solving the factional battles that are taking place in the ANC while people have been waiting here yeah, since 8 o'clock in the morning. It's four hours down the line. It's not here because some people, thugs, looters, who are destroying this municipality, are held him up in meetings that are not of beneficial to these people who are here today. Right. Mama, do you want to say something? None of you are going to say it. But you have experience. I do because I never was going to be training. But I was training. 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 ANC. I am so looking at the market to go to the car. How long is coming? I I I Thank <laughs> Alright, we'll stop it uh, here for now, but we hear from residents, of course, 
uh, saying that there's so many issues that need to be addressed, especially even elderly people saying that their children in Bloemfontein are not working, but they are applying for jobs. So this is just one of the issues that they want to be addressed by president. Asked if they're going to cast their votes, they are saying that yes, they will uh, vote, but these issues need to be addressed. Uh, we're still waiting, like they did say, the program was supposed to have started at 9.35, but president is not here. It's uh, almost now uh, about 12 o'clock, but he's not here. Presidents, though, are still waiting in this uh, blazing hot weather condition. They are waiting for the uh, president, Cyril Ramaphosa, just to hear what does he have in store for them. But there's so much also int intimidation here, Desiree, that we are getting on the ground from some members of the ANC saying that we're not supposed to be in this territory as media, but we are doing our job, of course, and we are talking to the residents. Desiree. Apumelele, do we know the reasons why the president hasn't arrived? For now, when we're talking to uh, the people, they're saying that he's still engaging uh, some matters uh, that are uh, uh, conducted behind closed doors. He hasn't started with the campaigning that he's here for, uh, but we're not sure who is he engaging with. Like I did mention earlier on, the civic movements that have also written a letter to the president, they are here. Everyone is waiting for the president here to just understand uh, what is he bringing on the table and uh, in terms of way forward as we know that there's just many burning issues here in the Mangaung Metro Municipality but the engagements that he's currently conducting now who are not of uh, uh, we're not sure what exactly uh, is happening well we're gonna have to let you go now thank you so much for that update now IFP